Hey guys and gals, I'm kind of annoyed because my living situation, which will change very soon, um, is like I don't have a door to my room so anyone can just come in and be like, hey, you know, and I'll be, be in the middle of like cleaning or in the middle of like changing rather. And it's just, yeah, it's annoying. Um, <clears throat> and I have an annoying roommate, so. Yes. Oh, the guy's earrings. Okay, well, why, why do you have to come all the way over here? What if I'm like naked or something? Like, I, David came down to say something. You came down to say something. I'm just like, I can never, I never have privacy. You just text me or something. I don't like people just coming in here if I'm like, what if I'm naked? You know? Good. Okay, we can give it to him. We drop it off at the hospital. I'm gonna go to the gym anyway. Okay, well he's gonna get transferred to a different room, so he's gonna call me. Whenever he calls me, I can just let you know. Hi Patsy. Hi baby. Zero privacy. Zero privacy. Like none at all. My son's friend was over and he had some sort of like seizure of some kind. He he was partying with my son. Like they, I think they may have drank some beer. My son's 18. I don't approve of him drinking at all. And he knows that. I don't think he drank, but I think his friend drank. Something happened to where like he has tubes in his chest. I had no idea about his medical issues. He's foaming at the mouth. He's having a seizure. This happened like the day after Halloween. And or the day of the evening of Halloween it was really bad no it was a day after okay sorry it was really bad and I like went and grabbed him and I was like praying God and we called the ambulance he's in the hospital he's stable but it was a really scary situation and he's okay now but but he he's like apparently he, he's only 20 years old and his he has kidney failure and high blood pressure and he's not like a big guy. He's not that big of a guy. He's kind of like small. Like he's, I mean, normal height, but he's he's not you know a big. Anyway, doesn't matter. Big or small, you can you can be unhealthy. You don't even if you don't look like it on the outside. So, no, I, my roommate Mar Marcel, he's a good friend of mine. I, I really care for him, but I just no privacy, no privacy. I'm going to be hopefully moving to Connecticut soon. And I, sh I shall have my privacy there. Um, hopefully. I really do crave having privacy and just, it's just, my living situation is, it's the way it is because I chose to live this way. Um, but I'm, yeah, you can see, like, it's irritating to have to deal with not having any privacy, not having a door, and people just come in like, hey, I'm gonna creep over and you know I, I could I could announce and say hey I'm changing go but it's just it's annoying I'm just I'm over it <sighs> so the boy's fine he's still in the hospital I called earlier to see where he was and how he was doing um, It's really sad also that his family wouldn't come and see him. He's from like Capitol Heights, PG County, like bordering Southeast DC. And it's kind of like one of those questionable areas, but all it, gentrification has changed the development of those city, of the city. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm just a little bit annoyed about that whole coming in here, like barging in here. It's, uh, Mar Marcel, God bless him, he's not, he's not barging in really. It, the roommate David upstairs I can't cannot anyways everything's subject to change I'm I got a lot of uh, plans ahead I do want to go out to a friend's birthday tomorrow and I hopefully will like record some of that and uh, just have you all peep into my life a little further <laughs>